Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tuko with Music ID TV, your home for B2B music news. So, Pandora is doing its best to fight for its life and make a speedy recovery. They're doing a few initiatives, and one of the initiatives, which is the on demand streaming, has really helped Pandora in its losses from ad supported revenue. Pandora is considered the number one ad supported streaming service, so for them to be losing ad revenue is a pretty big deal, unlike other streaming services, which are just subscription only, like an Apple Music or Tidal. So, with Pandora having to make these adjustments, they're really Really trying to make sure that they can stick around and be a viable competitor. Another thing they've done is they have slashed their workforce by 5%. They are also moving their headquarters to Atlanta, Georgia to potentially save up to $54 million per year. One other thing that they are starting to focus on is podcasts. Now, Pandora believes that there is still areas in podcasts that have not been done well by other streaming services, and they feel like they, with their already built-in audience and platform and the way they function, can really integrate podcasts in a way that benefit the creators by getting them paid and benefit the listeners by helping people discover new podcasts that they might really like. And I do think that Pandora is a pretty good platform for podcasts, actually. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Pandora is going to be doing quite well at the end of the year with all these initiatives that they're making? Or do you think they still might be on the decline? But beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe for more videos. Don't be afraid to hit the notifications button so you can stay informed. Join the sub club. We are currently posting four news videos per week. Once again, my name is Tuko with Music ID TV, your host for B2B Music News. Signing